All right, I have my cutout alien. I have my underpants with a pattern. I also have a big piece of paper to put it all together on. And you need to get your name on this big piece of paper and flip it over. Next, your alien needs glued. Please put the glue on the side that has your name. And we're not covering the whole thing with glue. You just trace it. Make sure you get glue on all of your sticky parts. Probably shouldn't do it over my big paper because then I'll get glue in places I don't want. So I'm trying to do this quickly before the glue can dry. I glue on all the important parts. Then stick my alien to the paper. He needs to be down low somewhere. His feet could touch the ground or they could be just slightly above it. And gently press him down. Make sure all your parts are on. So if anything is starting to fly off, give it a little more glue and press down to make sure he stays. And yes, he will get a face, just be patient. Get more glue on that hair. So he stays on the paper. Okay, alien stuck. And underpants. Obviously we're putting the glue on the side. It does not have a pattern. And just like your alien, we're tracing the outside edge. Putting glue all around the outside edge. And you have to make sure the underpants go in a place that makes sense. Like they can't go up here. They have to cover his bottom. And just like on the alien, if anything's flying up, put a little more glue on it and hold it down. Those are beautiful underpants. All right, my alien needs a face next. So you'll have something to draw with at your table. Crayons, construction paper crayons is what I have right here. And you're going to make your face for your alien. So you decide what look they have, but most of the aliens were very happy because they had underpants. Okay, I think my alien has enough decoration. Now, last but not least, Part of the book focused on the aliens in the front. Part of the book focused on things off in the distance. When things are close to you, they are big. And when they are far, far away, they are very small. So my alien's up front, wearing his awesome underpants. He's large. If I had grass under him, it would be a size that makes sense. If I had a spaceship flying off in the distance or aliens playing in the distance, they would be small. So I'm going to go with a spaceship. So most of their spaceship looked pretty silly. They had a dome and they had this oval and they had little decorations on them. So I'm going to draw my awesome little lights. And of course there'll be an alien inside. And they did have a clothesline off behind. Of course, my spaceship's going to have a clothesline with underpants hanging on it. So he is far away, he is small. And if there was another spaceship off in the distance, it would be even tinier. And then we add other details to it. And now my alien is complete. I made this line behind the spaceship move. I made it curve to show movement. I have underpants hanging on it and I did put some patterns on those too. Same thing here, it curves, there's underpants. And if you look at them, the ones that are back here are smaller because they are farther away. Just like the little aliens, he's bigger, he's smaller because he's farther away.